All right, now that you've taken some photos and you got some photos uh, inside your Photos app, let's go ahead and take a look at all the amazing things that your Photos app can do. All right, so let's just get right into it. Here's my Photos app. I'm gonna tap on it to open it. You might open here with all your albums and you can see I've got lots of albums here. Or you might open up in the For You category, you know, down here at the bottom, or might open up in Photos. Kind of depends on where you were last. I'm going to go back to Albums because I want to talk about that right now. If you want to make a new album, you can just go ahead and tap the plus button up here and make a new album. And I got to tell you, albums are just kind of a mature thing that students start to do. They start to organize their photos. Rather than just leaving everything just in the Photos app, they're like, oh, here's from the Science Fair. Here's from Art Class. Here's from PE, and they start to organize the projects that they do. And that's how you do it right there. Or let me show you here. We go inside. Now you can see these are all the burst mode one that we did with the, the taking so many photos, just da -da 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 -da, took all the photos. If I wanted to put those all in an album, because look at me, I'm at 94,500 photos, so I have to keep them organized. Um, I could just go here to select, and I could just tap on all these. And then I could say add to right here at the top and I could either make a new album, but I already have an album called Mike because you know, the little character you see is Mike from Stranger Things. And I could just tap on that and that's going to put them all inside this uh, Mike album right here. So you see how in my albums, I got one called Mike and there they all are. Okay. So, so that's how to do things kind of from the, from the outside level of photos. We haven't really gotten into an actual photo yet, but those are some of the things you can do. All right, so let's get into one of these photos. Let me just tap on one and open it up. Okay, so here we have a photo that's pretty good. It's nice and clear, but you want to be able to go through your photos, and if something is not right, uh, you just go ahead and delete it right then because you don't, you don't want these photos that are bad. You can just hit the trash can and just delete bad photos. Now, they're not really gone. They go into a folder called Recently Deleted, and I think they stay there for like 30 days, so you're safe in case you have to go back and get that photo. Uh, like, here's a good example of one that's just, um, that's just no good. So we can just tap on the delete button here. Remember, we had it adjusting to the, the light. We were playing around with the tap to focus, and that's how we got that. All right, so let's go ahead, and we're going to go into this photo right here. And there's a couple things we can do. The little heart button up here will add it to your favorites, which is an, another album. And favorites, don't go crazy with favorites. Just maybe keep 25 to 30 photos in there, and they're the, the really good photos, the ones that you see or that you find yourself always trying to show people, like, hey, check out this photo. So my favorites that I have on my phone and on my iPad are things like photos of my kids, photos of my dog, photos of my family, my wife, you know, those type of things that I use a lot. Those are the ones that I have in my favorites, okay? But anyhow, so pressing it turns it on, pressing it again turns it off. That's what basically that's going to do. Um, th then you have a share button up here. We already know what the trash can does. So let's go ahead and tap on share. Now, the share button is when you need to share the photo. That's why we call it that. And so many kids get kind of freaked out. They're like, Mr. Flick, how do I send you my photo? Mr. Flick, how do I drop it? How do I do this? And if you need to give it to somebody else, then you are sharing. Okay, you see where we're getting here? So sharing, and then once you have share opened up, you can select multiple photos. So if I wanna share the really bad dark photo here, and uh, maybe some of these other ones. So I have, I have three photos selected, and I could airdrop it right now to my MacBook that's just sitting over here in the corner. So that's where airdrop is, and airdrop is a whole other beast unto itself. Most schools turn off airdropping because students kind of abuse it, and they always are airdropping things to each other. But it's a really cool technology because it allows you to transfer video and photo files without connecting cables. So it really is cool. And if you are one of those schools that are responsibly using it, then all the power to you. It's really great. You can airdrop it. And so that sends it over to the other computer. They receive it. You know, they say, yes, I want to receive it. And then it loads into their photo album. So, and then you can see all the other choices here. So when a student says, hey, Mr. Flick, how do I email that to you? Well, it's just right here. So if I tap on mail, it's going to open up a new message and it's going to have those photos already in this message. So, you know, I could say they all are. They're, they're loaded into the message and I could email that and address it to somebody and they would get the photos. So let me go ahead and cancel that. But um, so essentially that's sharing. And, you know, uh, printing is here too. So this is how you print the photos. This is how you save them to your Google Drive. I mean, sorry, to your Google Drive is up here and to your iCloud Drive is down here. And you can just do a whole bunch of things. So if you ever think I need to get this photo somewhere, it's probably within the share box, okay? This little share icon up there. 
I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. All right, the next big thing we're going to get into, of course, is editing your photo within just the Photos app. Now, there are lots of photo editors, and we're certainly going to get into those later on, but let's just see what we can do just with the Photos app itself. So I'm going to go in here to edit, and you can see I've got all these choices here. Uh, the first one is this magic wand, which is the kind of the auto retouch button and it just is going to use all these professional settings that photographers have agreed upon to make a photo good and you know about 50 percent of the time it does improve your photo and about other 50 percent it's just like meh you know so let's go ahead and give it a try oh it kind of darkened it i kind of like what it did just then so we're going to keep that uh the one right below it you can turn it off by just tapping it again so let's see that it's on it's off okay the next one down is the crop tool and this will straighten it, it'll do an auto straighten. Okay, so if you have your horizon slightly off or the vertical lines are slightly off, it will automatically straighten your photo. And you can control that here if you want to uh, override the auto. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and reset that back to level. And then um, you can crop your photo. So you can see we've got, and it gives you your three lines again. And I'm gonna kind of bring this in. I just kind of want that angry bird just kind of over his shoulder a little bit there. Yeah, let's maybe move him down a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I've got his shoes in. I've got a little bit of the Angry Bird here. Um, let's open it up just a slightly here. Yeah, I, I like that. That's that's looking good. So that's a nice tight crop. You don't want to go too close. You want to get right right up to, you know, him like this because that's that's just. I mean, we could do it like that, I guess, but it just really. Um, it's not what we're going for in this one. So let me just reset that and let me just, I want all the Angry Bird in there and none of the light. So, okay, so there I've cropped it. And then the next thing, and you can see we can always reset. There's always a reset button there. The next one down are the filters. So I'm gonna tap on that. Okay, so here are all the filters that load up here. And you can just start going through them. And most people have a pretty good artistic eye. So kind of go through them and see, you know, what are we going for here? You know, what do we want? from our photo, something cool and vivid and dramatic, dramatic warm, all the way down to, you know, black and white to noir down here at the bottom. Yeah, this is looking kind of creepy. Actually, I'm gonna go with the black and white. I didn't think I was going to. I thought I was gonna go with vivid up here, the very first one, but I kind of like this because the angry bird is over his shoulder and it kind of gives it that, you know, film noir kind of dark comedy. I don't know, I, I like it a lot. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. Um, below the filters are the actual controls for your, you know, brightness, contrast, um, saturation, those type of things. And these are down in the individual controls right here. Okay, so here are my individual controls. And these are kind of the higher end things. I'm going to show you what they are, but we get into these in the upper levels. But basically, this is your brightness and you can just slide it. See, I'm I can do all sorts of things. I'm just going to just take it back to the center there. Um, and there are, you know, different parts of the brightness. I mean, this is really high-end stuff, high-end photo editing, and I can't believe they just kind of hid it inside of photos here. And then, uh, of course, your color, we used to call this saturation. And there, since there is no color, it's a black and white photo, you don't see anything change in this one. And then finally, the, the, the black and white, or the contrast of it, we can make it really low contrast, or really high contrast. If we wanted to really do some fine-tuned editing, which we're just going to leave alone, but I wanted to kind of show you what those look like. Now the last on the list here are these three little dots here. Three dots always means something really cool is hiding. Okay, so let's tap on that and you will see that this allows us to be able to do markups to our photos. So I'm just gonna tap on markup. Okay, and you can see we have some pens and eraser and a lasso tool as well as some colors here that we can choose. Now these are pretty self-explanatory. You have a normal uh, felt tip marker there. If I change over to blue, you can see that we can, I just picked blue because it'd be really easy to see in, in this um, background here. And, and you know, of course you can write things. So this is Mike. Um, if we use the highlighter, we go to yellow highlighter, it just allows it so you can still see through it. You can still see the Angry Birds eyes through the highlighter there. Here's the undo button. Um, the pencil, uh, let me switch over to maybe yellow pencil. They're just really, sharp. They're just really fine-tuned, so they're really hard to see um, the pencil is. So, so 
depending on the document, you know, but the pencil's really tiny. And, and then the lasso tool, you can lasso something and then you can move it around. You can see I've got that blue marker there. <clears throat> uh, then the eraser, of course, you just uh, you know tap it on something and it erases. So let me go ahead and put that blue one back in there. So those are how those tools work and you're like, you know, Mr. Flick, that's really kind of cool. And, and a lot of times you can make your photos even look better because you can now write all over top of them. You can do demonstrate math, you know, geometry and all sorts of things on top of your photos because now you have the ability to write on top of photos. So that's great for schoolwork. But now let's even do some more things here. Um, if we tap on the little plus button over here, you can see that we can add text, a signature, and a magnifier. Let me just, and it's all these different shapes. So let me just start at the bottom here. If we wanted to add, say, a talk bubble up here for Mike, uh, first of all, we can change the color of it. It's loaded it in right here, but it's hard to see. So let me change that to yellow, and I can change the size of it. We can move it to wherever we want to, and, and those type of things. Okay, so that's, and you can even change where that little pointer and how long it goes. Uh, we could actually move it over to here, and it could be pointing up to Mike's mouth right like that if we wanted him to say something. Now, <clears throat> another thing that you can add um, is text, of course. And so let me go ahead and add text. And it's right there. It's hidden because it's black text and it's over top of Mike's black hair. So it's really hard uh, for us to see what's going on there. So let me just change it to green down here. There, now you can see it a little bit better. And double tap on it so it allows me to edit it. And I'm just going to maybe put my initials because I'm going to sign this beautiful artwork down, <clears throat> down in the corner. Now I've got that. Now you might be tempted to hit done. Don't do that. That done is meaning that you're done the whole project and you're ready to save it. We're just done typing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and collapse the keyboard here. And it still has its little handles on it so I can still move it anywhere I want. And I can tap down here on the bottom and I have some more things here. I can change the font and I can make it a little bit bigger here and maybe yellow. And I want to just kind of put that in, maybe right up here somewhere. There's my initials, so I've kind of signed it. And, and let me just show you one more thing, and that's the magnifier. Let's say we want to magnify Mike's nose. You put it on top there, and you see it magnifies it. It kind of, and we can make it bigger, and uh, you can change the magnification of it on what we want to do. And, and that's just if you need to show, like maybe it's a school project, and you want to highlight. Um, something in a photo that you've taken to show your teacher that you understand what they're saying and, and you want to really say, here's the point, maybe it's a photo of a map or something and you want to say, here's the city where I grew up in or something and you could highlight that. So I, I'm just going to highlight the, the, you know, the angry bird back here. I'm like, you can check out his, his eyebrow and then you'll know that he's angry because we've magnified on his slanted eyebrow and we know that that means anger. So anyhow, when you're done everything, um, and of course you know how to erase things, there's an eraser there, we could tap on things and erase things. But when you're done, you just tap on done, and that's going to save it to your camera roll, and now you have a beautifully marked up photo. Okay, so that concludes the lesson on how the photo app works, and I guess we're ready to start on the very first challenge. And so meet me in the next video, and we're going to talk about you being a great photographer and starting to take on um, some of these uh, scavenger hunt things so that you know uh, so that I know you know how to do these and how to run the photo app and the camera app. See you there.